On Tuesday, U.S. Air Force F-22 fighter jets intercepted Russian bombers flying near Alaska on two separate occasions. North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, stated the first formation of Russian aircraft consisted of two Tu-95 bombers, accompanied by two Su-35 fighter jets, and was supported by an A-50 airborne early warning and control aircraft. The second formation consisted of two Tu-95 bombers, supported by an A-50. NORAD confirmed that the Russian military aircraft remained in international airspace and at no time did they enter United States sovereign airspace. General Terence J. O'Shaughnessy, the NORAD commander, said, For the eighth time this year, Russian military aircraft have penetrated our Canadian or Alaskan air defense identification zones, and each and every time NORAD forces were ready to meet this challenge. He added, Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, NORAD constantly monitors the northern approaches to our nations and our operations make it clear that we will conduct homeland defense efforts 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian Tupolev Tu-95, supported by Sukhoi Su-35, didn't dare to enter U.S. airspace when it faced F-22 Raptor. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Tupolev Tu-95, also named as Bear in the West, is a large four-engine turboprop-powered strategic bomber and missile platform. The bomber was designed by Tupolev Aerospace and Defense Company. First flown in 1952, the Tu-95 entered service with the Soviet Union in 1956 and is expected to serve the Russian aerospace forces until at least 2040. It's powered by four Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engines. The aircraft can fly at a maximum speed of 516 miles per hour or 830 kilometers per hour and has a range of 15,000 kilometers or 9,321 miles. It can carry up to 15,000 kilograms or 33,000 pounds of weapons. The Tu-95 has also seen many upgrades that include better avionics, sensors, and weapons package. The latest modernization of the bombers provided it with the ability to carry KH-101 or 102 stealth cruise missiles. This upgrade saw the installation of four underwing pylons for up to eight KH-101 or 102 cruise missiles, as well as adjusting aircraft's main weapons bay for cruise missiles of size KH-101-102. The KH-101 missile is an air-launched low-radar cross-section missile. KH-102 is a nuclear version. The KH-101 has a 400 kilogram or 880 pound high explosive penetrating or cluster warhead and the KH-102 has a 250 kiloton nuclear warhead. The missile has a maximum speed of around Mach 0.8 and is estimated to have a range of around 1250 miles or 2000 kilometers. The Sukhoi Su-35 is a single-seat, twin-engine, supermaneuverable aircraft designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and built by the Komsomolsk on Amur aircraft plant. The type was originally developed by the Soviet Union from the Su-27 and was known as the Su-27M. It incorporated canards and a multi-function radar, giving it multi-role capabilities. 
The first prototype made its maiden flight in June 1988. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Sukhoi redesigned it as the Su-35 to attract export orders. In 2003, Sukhoi embarked on a second modernization of the Su-27 to serve as an interim aircraft awaiting the development of the Sukhoi PAC-FA Su-57 program. Also known as the Su-35, this version has a redesigned cockpit and weapons control system and features thrust vectoring engines in place of the canards. The type made its first flight in February 2008. Although it was designed for export, the Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009 with the production version designated Su-35S. The aircraft has a top speed of Mach 2.25. In January 2006, Russia made the first combat deployment of the Su-35S when it sent a deployment of four aircraft to Syria. This occurred following the increased tensions between Russia and Turkey as a result of reported incursions by Russian aircraft into the Turkish airspace and the shootdown of a Russian Su-24 bomber by a Turkish F-16 fighter in November 2015. F-22 is still the most potent fighter jet in the world, even though more than two decades have passed since the first one was produced. It's to be noted that even today, F-22 can't be exported to any country as per American federal law, which is a stark contrast to other fighters including the F-35. F-22 Raptor is the first operational aircraft to combine super crews and super maneuverability. Super Cruise is the ability to have sustained supersonic flight without having to use the highly inefficient afterburners. With this, F-22 can intercept targets which subsonic aircraft would lack the speed to pursue and an afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to reach. F-22 incorporates supermaneuverability, which makes it a capable dogfighter. In AN-APG-77 radar, F-22 possesses the most powerful sensor ever mounted on a fighter. It has a range of around 400 kilometers against one square meter target. The radar changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second to resist jamming and have low probability of intercept, meaning that the enemy has no warning that a radar lock has been achieved against it. F-22 Raptor is developed from ground up to be stealthy. F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built and has low RCS radar cross-section of only 0.0001 square meter. It can be armed with AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles. F-22 Raptor is integrated with AIM-120D. The AIM-120D is the latest development of the AMRAAM missile family designed and built by Raytheon. It includes several new enhancements for improved performance. This includes a two-way data link, superior navigation through GPS-enhanced inertial measurement unit, much larger no-escape zone, and improved high-angle off-boresight capability, apart from an increase in range by 50%. The software algorithm has seen a lot of work and has a much better capability especially in dealing with new forms of electronic attack. AIM-120D has much accurate guidance over its whole flight envelope, which improves the kill probability. It also has improved kinematics and GPS inertial measurement unit for better performance. AIM-120D's range is thought to be more than 167 kilometers or 105 miles. It will have no problem locking on a large target like Tupolev Tu-95. The missile also has better range and agility when compared to anything Russian Su-35 possesses, including R-77-1 missile, which is the upgraded variant of the original R-77 missile. Also, F-22 is stealthy, unlike Su-35, so it can fire the missile without getting into the tracking range of the rival. The act is clearly intentional and this points to newfound confidence in Russia, which now thinks that it can take on the U.S. military. 
but it's to be noted that Russia's defense budget is around 10% of the American defense budget. Russia has not yet serially produced its Su-57 fifth-generation stealth fighter, nor does it have a stealth bomber. America has 187 F-22 Raptors, and as of now, 500 F-35s have already been built, the bulk of which is received by the U.S. military. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.